What do we got under here today? Ooh, little FCP Euro delivery. Can't lie to you guys, I've actually had these parts for a while, but I think it's time that we get the 754 running right. So today we're gonna be doing a little maintenance. I'm gonna grab something to open this box and we'll see what's inside. Went to grab a box cutter and I grabbed everything but that, so. That worked. What do we got here? Looks like we got ourselves a little tool. Little spark plug tool here and we got ourselves some ngk spark plugs so we're gonna see actually if this can kind of help with some of the sputtering issues and maybe even help get rid of the check engine light that we have but i'm not really expecting this to fix the check engine light but i'm sure that these have to be changed so we'll see as we dive into this so quickly i'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff taken off where is my t20 Keep it in the back of the car. That's where it's at. Oh my shit. On today's episode of We Almost Just Broke the Window, we didn't. Yeah, I see why people leave this shit off. Like, there's no point to any of it, for one. For two, half the screws don't work or they go missing. For three, I need to get myself cowl filters because what is this thing? Definitely a lot more room. Took all this junk out. Another one of those plastic caps over there, but all right, now I gotta get this engine cover off. More than likely gonna lose a screw trying to film this, but. Two more out south. Works just. One, actually, and it looks like it's missing, so we're good to go. Alright, any N54 experts, take a look at this thing. If you see anything wrong, leave a comment. Let's just start plucking away. Such a wonderful noise. We're gonna have to undo these ground connections here. I do not want to lose this thing. Okay, I don't want to trust doing that anymore. Got her. 14 mil FCP Euro style here. Blop. Sweet. Let's see how this thing works. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but if you look straight down this thing's one eyed willy, you can see that plastic in there. That grabber's gonna pull these plugs right out with severe ease. First one's loose. There's something about doing spark plugs that makes me nervous for no reason every single time, too. Can't explain it. This could be disastrous. How's that not out yet? Toasty little boy. We're just gonna run the stock gap. See how that does. So it looks like we had a Bosch in there. Bosch R6. Uh, it's probably OEM, so maybe these plugs actually will do something. Right, so this is what I originally bought to do the spark plugs. It did not work. It's just a normal deep well 14 millimeter socket. If you're doing this yourself, I would just seriously order one of these from FCP Euro. Good. There we go. There we go. 
takes forever. That one's pretty burnt too. Hopefully you guys can see once again. It's number two going in. No cross threading. Got that one all the way hand tight. 17 foot pounds again. There's like dust all over the ends of these things, so I'm kind of trying to wipe them off as I go. But yeah, if anyone knows anything about this, this is Delphi. If this is OEM, please let me know. I'm still kind of a noob with N54, so please excuse me. Like, how is that even... This is number three, but like, how is that even possible? Definitely going to take a look down there with a the flashlight when I get this plug out. So there's plug number three. It doesn't look like it's wet or anything, which is good. I might be the only person in the world to ever use this BMW flashlight. Golly gee, that's disgusting. It looks like the head of that piston's pretty burnt. And on top of that, it looks like there's a bunch of gunk buildup around the threads where the spark plug threads in. Not too sure if that's to be a concern, but... Looks like there might also be some other minor buildup in these areas. The fucking wood chips. What the? We had a rat living in here or something. That makes a little more sense. But we're gonna keep going on with the install. We're gonna let nature take its course. I don't know, I might have to replace these coils in the future, so. Yeah, this is pretty bad. I promise you guys I didn't just try to put that coil back in there without a spark plug. I'm just gonna let everyone know right now that if this didn't fit and I had to take this shit member off, it was gonna be fucking over for someone. Just finished number five. That was easily the worst one with this cross member in the way. Pulled out coil number six and this is a little bit concerning to say the least. It is what it is, I guess. So we'll get that plug out and we'll see how she's looking. go i just gotta put that bolt back on and then i'm gonna grab the mhd tuner connect the car see what's going on here's all the old plugs obviously these things were pretty burnt if you ask me so i think it's good that i went ahead and switched these out today all right got our adapter right here beautiful and we're gonna get our first startup with the new plugs Okay. Jump pack's not on. Now we're getting the first start up. Let's go. Three, two, one. Battery's too dead. We gotta let the jump pack sit. Oh, I just watched someone's video the other day. The windshield wipers didn't turn off. Now I'm having the same issue. This thing's a piss missile. Got the wipers to stop. I just had to get the battery reconnected and lock the car. And now we're good. Attempt number two at the first startup with the new plugs. Let's go. There we go. No freaking way. No more check engine light. Let's go. Oh. I don't even know what to say. I was so excited and now I just feel like I got stabbed in the soul. All right, well, that didn't fix shite, but let's at least connect to the Mitch. This thing has nine times more codes than before. I think we broke it more. 
fuck this. This is an old log of sorts. I don't know if any of that looks weird. See, it's like I get this crazy AFR spike when I let off the throttle. I don't know what that could be. I think I'm gonna have to actually put some miles on this car to see if the spark plugs fixed anything, which I don't really think they did and I didn't expect them to. And the car's not insured right now, so we're not taking the car anywhere today in this video. But if you guys see anything that sticks out to you based on the logs I just previously showed you briefly, let me know down in the comments what you think the issue could be. But hey, at least for now, I don't have a check engine light until I drive the car again, probably. But the good news is the car started back up. Seems to be running all right, or at least the same as it did before. So I didn't fuck anything up with the spark plugs. Notorious M54 tick. That goes away. Probably go away, right? No. No. go away, right? Not that everything seems to be all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff buttoned back up. That is all put back together now. And I'm gonna go and clean this stuff up. And while I do that, you guys should go right ahead and check out my other videos like these here.